As your SQL managed instances now come with a new backup storage option, the GeoZone Redundant Storage option, or GZRS for short. GeoZone Redundant Storage combines the best of two worlds. It keeps backups safe from both regional, also known as Geo Redundant, and data center, also known as Zone Redundant, failures. It provides the highest availability for storage currently offered in Azure, improving recovery speed and enabling point-in-time restore of backups in the event of zone failure. GeoZone Redundant Storage for Azure SQL Managed Instance Backups provides three synchronous copies in different availability zones within the same primary region, plus additional asynchronous copies within a single availability zone in the paired secondary region. Note that GeoZone Redundant Storage is designed to provide at least 99.9 to the 14 places reoccurring. That's 16 nines of durability of objects over a given year. With the availability this backup storage option provides, customers who choose to use it can expect recovery and database restoration within the same primary region to be significantly faster, given that the backup data is read from the local zone, reducing additional network delay. Additionally, GeoZone Redundant Storage provides point-in-time restore in the event an availability zone goes down, since you'll be able to do a regular restore from a different availability zone. This is different to Geo Redundant Storage, also known as GRS, which relies on Geo Restore, and that limits the recovery point objective to one hour. So how do you activate this? When creating your SQL Managed Instance in the Basics tab, Click on Configure Managed Instance in the Compute and Storage section. Scroll to the bottom of the Compute and Storage blade to the Backup section and then select GeoZone Redundant Backup Storage. For existing SQL Managed Instances, just go to your Overview page and then select Compute and Storage from the left menu blade. The same option is available under Backup at the bottom of the page. Select and then click Apply. And that is how to configure GeoZone Redundant Storage for your SQL Managed Instance.